They play hard. You got to tip your hat. They definitely play hard. You can't go freaking bear hunting with BB guns. There's gold tomorrow. We don't win today. Hi, I'm Casey Fiend. Uh, I played at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo College. Uh, I got to play with the Glacier Pilots in 2005. Came into the pitching coach after the season was over and told me that I had the opportunity of uh, getting to play with the Glacier Pilots. I've heard of the Alaska League because I know it's uh, comparable to Cape Cod and I know there's a lot of good uh, college baseball players, especially West Coast guys, that come up there and play. I mean, Mark McGuire, everybody, I mean, there's a lot of big league guys that have played on that team and come through there. So uh, I thought it was, it was an honor. Talent-wise, it was uh, above and beyond anything I, I thought I was going to experience out there. I thought it was going to be fun in games, and it ended up being a, a learning experience on how to approach the game and uh, how to play the game right. When I pitched there, I didn't do very well. Wood bats were just the same as metal bats. <laughs> no, not wood bats. That was my first experience with a wood bat. You learn uh, what works and what doesn't. Nature walks. I never did that when I was, because uh, I'm a Southern California boy, a beach, I mean, I, I love nature, I love the, the water. Being able to go out there and go take some nature walks with my host families out in the mountains, it was uh, unbelievable. You see nature firsthand right in front of you. Uh, yeah, I did. I had uh, a 1990 Mercury, played dodge the cars in the parking lot because we really didn't matter if we hit them or not. <laughs> I'm um, actually the other Anchorage team that was there, uh, the Bucks. That's right, because uh, uh, there's another Cal Poly guy, the pitching coach, I believe, was JK, who uh, ended up being the pitching coach at Cal Poly, but he always showed his face around. Uh, just remember going on and just talk trash to each other before the game started. So it was just fun. It, it made it more exciting and uh, just better to play. Gary Daly was there and Jimmy Van Ostrand. Uh, Danny Valencia, me and him were uh, roommates in uh, the Arizona Fall League in 2008. So uh, I knew of him. I didn't know he was going to be my roommate though. And once we saw each other, we knew exactly where we knew each other from, from the pilots. And then uh, I got to play with him last year. When I came up, he was my third baseman. So it was really fun. And he hung out with, he's one of the guys I hung out with the most in uh, Anchorage. And we got to do a lot of things that we'd never really get to do because he's a Miami boy and I'm a SoCal boy. So it was fun to, fun to hang out with him. We got to go shoot some guns that would, we really didn't know that we're, <laughs> we didn't know how to shoot really, but uh, our host families brought out some shotguns and stuff, so it was really fun to go out there and just let it loose. Yeah, there's a creek right there. Uh, that's where everyone, I mean, you had to get your spot earlier or else you get packed up right there. The, I forget where the creek was. I remember we had to go there to go to my host family's house, but it was right next to the field, and we'd stop there before we go to the field, and sometimes we'd be a little late, and McKay would kind of get on us. I really hardly caught anything. I was just more learning how to tie knots or fishing knots and it was just one of those things just to pass the time. 2005 I was a setup guy, reliever, and I really wanted to be a starter and I got my opportunity in Anchorage to be a starter. But uh, when 2006 came along I wasn't, I was probably the fourth guy, so I was the odd man out of the starting rotation. I told my coaches, I mean I got some experience. I told him, I'm going to be a starter. I'm going to be the Sunday starter. And I uh, ended up three, four weeks in, I ended up being the Sunday start, Friday night closer, Sunday starter. I mean, it worked out. I mean, I had scouts coming to the games and watching me, and they could have, there's two days that they could watch me on. Having that, that ability to come to Anchorage and get that opportunity was perfect for me leading into my senior year of college. A kid that played for uh, Oregon State, I stayed at his house. He was one of the really good guys that gave me a house to stay in after my host family had to leave. So I got to stay in his tree house. <laughs> I do remember before I went there uh, watching the video of the plane crashing in the outfield. I do remember that happening. I think it was left field or one of the right, right or left field. Going there, I was expecting to see another plane crash, <laughs> but that didn't happen. The competition in Alaska, I mean, you think it's Alaska, it's not going to be that great because the population, I mean, but kids come from all over to come there and you get to play kids in uh, NAIA schools and D1, D2, D3, I mean they're all over but you, you get the top crop of the players to play against and it's, it's humbling but it's also a good experience because you get to face those guys at the same time. So you get to find out where you, where you are on the level that you think you're, you're at.